स्टूडेंट्स बात करेंगे अपनी थर्ड जनरेशन ऑफ इथरनेट की एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड द गीगाबिट इथरनेट स्टूडेंट्स एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स दिस वाज एबल टू सपोर्ट हायर डेटा रेट्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस वी वर एबल टू गेट टू वन गीगाबिट पर सेकेंड स्टूडेंट्स द स्टैंडर्ड वॉज क्रिएटेड बाई ट्रिपली एंड इट वॉज कॉल्ड एज ए टू टू डॉट थ्री जेड Of students, in the case of gigabit Ethernet, there were certain goals once again, as was the case with fast Ethernet that we wanted to support. The first goal was to upgrade the data rate from 100 megabits per second of fast Ethernet to 1 gigabits per second. Students, the second goal was to make it compatible with uh, standard Ethernet or fast Ethernet. At the time of 1 gig E development, there were still quite a few implementations of standard Ethernet that were there in the market. And so, students, um, the the goal was to make sure that the technology change does not required is not required or it does not happen, and we can move the implementations which are using standard Ethernet as well as the fast Ethernet directly onto the one gig E technology. Students, then we wanted to use the same 48 bit address. We wanted to use the same frame format, and we wanted to keep the same minimum and maximum frame lengths. To avoid a lot of changes, students, the max sublayer was a bit of an issue when we moved to to gigabit Ethernet. Students, um, the evolution of Ethernet um, it required, or it actually, um, you know, one of the motivations was to not change the max sublayer. But students, given the upgrade of the sp speed, given that we were moving to ten times the speed of uh, what we had before, the changes in max sublayer were. required the gigabit ethernet has two distinct approaches when it comes to medium access in the case of max sublayer one is the full duplex and of course the second one is the half duplex students pretty much all the implementations that we have got for 1 gig ethernet they use full duplex um, nobody uses half duplex these days and we're going to talk about the full duplex only in our discussions as well Now, students, the physical layer in the gigabit Ethernet that required a lot of changes as well. To move from fast Ethernet to uh, to one gig E Ethernet, the physical layer in terms of encoding, in terms of the different uh, transmission media that were required, um, everything that we were using before that for standard Ethernet and fast Ethernet that actually became obsolete. We needed to go and and have a look at uh, you know modified or developed physical layer technologies. and we're going to talk about some of them in the next slide students as you can see we have got different variants of the gigabit ethernet as well so we can categorize the gigabit ethernet as either a two wire or a four wire implementation students the two wire implementation it uses the fiber optic cable in the case of for example um the fiber is used for 1000 is this 1000 represents 1000 megabits per second or 1 gig in this case 1000 base sx which is your um, short wave and then you had 1000 base lx which is your long wave it uses stp for 1000 base cx and then you have got a four wire uh, version which uses which is your 1000 base t and it was designed in response to the users who already had installed um, the twisted pair cable for fast ethernet and that um uses your utp four wires for 1000 base um t students we have got different implementations that we have just spoken about let's summarize them uh we have got 1000 base short wave sx it uses a short wave fiber the medium length is 550 meters we use a, we use two wires and the encoding scheme that we use is a combination of nrz and 8b slash 10b then you've got lx it uses a long wave fiber and all of a sudden the long wave fiber increases your medium length to 5000 meters so long haul links two wires 
and we use once again NRZ and 8B, 10B. So then you have an STP in 1000 base CX. It's only for 25 meters, two wires, and uses the same 8B slash 10B and NRZ. And the last one is to support the existing implementations that we had for the UTP. And in this case, it, the, the length is 100 meters and the wires used is a, is a four pair and use a 4D PAM5 um, encoding. Up students, we'll talk about the 10 gig ethernet, the, the fourth generation. And most of our networks today, they support the ethernet networks, they support 10 gig ethernet. And once again, the idea was to increase the speed and we were able to get to 10 gigabits uh, per second, and it's used mainly in different local area networks and metropolitan area networks to be specific. Students, um, the Ethernet standard is called 802.3AE, and in terms of implementation, it is only used in full duplex mode. One gig Ethernet was still possible in half duplex mode, although it was not used, but 10 gig E is only available in full duplex mode. Students, there is no need because of full duplex. There is no contention and therefore there is no need for your um, CSMS CD as an access technique that we, that, we, that we use. And once again, we have got four different implementations in this case as well. As you can see on the slide, the first one is called 10 gig base SR. And 10 gig base SR, it uses fiber medium of uh, 850 nanometers. You've got a medium length of 300 meters. Number of wires is two, and you use 64-bit, 66-bit encoding. Then you've got 100G, I'm sorry, 10G base LR. Uh, the fiber length is 13, 10, 10 kilometers, two pairs of wires, um, and you've got the same encoding. Then you've got 10G base EW, and you've got 40 kilometers as length. You've got two wires, and you use Sonnet that we are going to be talking about in our discussions in the future. And then you've got 10 gig base X4, 300 meters to 10 kilometers in this case. Once again, two wires, and we use 8B slash 10B encoding in this particular case of 10 gigabit Ethernet. 